Shogun, everyone. Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Palm Beach, Florida to Orlando, Florida. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, I set the altitude for autopilot. Let me go ahead and preset navigation on. Okay. And take the parking brake off and we will get on our way. It's harder to keep the plane going straight down the runway than I expect. Um, I need to reduce sensitivity on my pedals or something. Alright, we can go ahead and lift off. Landing gear up. We're already pretty much heading in the right direction. I'll try to keep us a little bit more fine-tuned on the heading. Flaps up. Continue for north departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Palm Beach Tower KH387 continue for north departure. Alright, just turning to get us right on course. I'm going to go ahead and turn the steering over to autopilot. Always have to engage the yaw damper to keep things smooth. Keep the heading perfect. Okay, so it's making a minor adjustment just to get these lines to converge here. Alright, and the other thing is flight level. So I want to go to 2500, we're almost there, so. I think it's going to just turn on Palm Beach Tower KH altitude hold mode at that level. Change. Yep, that's what it did. Palm Beach approach KH three eight seven is type Beechcraft King Air. So we've leveled off. We're going to begin speeding up quite a bit. We hit B for barometer. So I'll have to just keep an eye on the throttle. I can take my feet off the pedals. Don't need the rudder right now. Let's go outside. Squawk seven three five four KH three eight seven. Kind of a semi nice day, I guess. Cleared through the Charlie Airspace KH387. All right, so we're flying north through Central Florida. I've never been here, at least as far as. I remember, I might have been when I was a baby. I wouldn't mind going and ex off and exploring some of these things. Let's uh, reset the view. I can see that the speed is a little high, so let's pull back on the throttle. I'd like to keep it below 240. So I'm just gradually pulling back on it. Get the speed down. Okay, we ended up at the halfway point detent, so I'll stay there. That seems to be a good point. Okay, so pull up the drone. Alright, and I wanted to head over this way check out all this stuff. So I assume these are houses here. Looks like a street that goes nowhere and a truck heading. I wonder if it's going to turn around. 
instantly and go the other direction. Yep, that's what it did. Okay. Well, those are just for decoration. They're not supposed to be accurate. Although, can be a little bit of a humorous situation sometimes. Frequency change approved KH387. Let me go back and check on the plane. Is type beach craft King Air miles Speed's good. Altitude is good. Heading speed. KH387 Palm Beach approach. Squawk 6634. Alright, so I wanted to head over here where the sun's Squawk shining. Six, six, three, four, KH387. Check this area out. looks like there's a moat around this housing development or something. Of course we're being continuously dragged along by the airplane. Let's continue to head out towards the ocean. I see a bunch of buildings. This is probably a city downtown area over here. It's an interesting looking building. Okay. The, uh, the plane dragging is a little problematic if you're trying to look at things, so I'm going to disconnect the tether. We can still go check on the plane, make sure that all the dials are correct. All right. Okay, so what what do we have here? Getting some stuttering. Probably, I noticed my um, system tends to slow down when there's a lot of clouds. I've got the clouds set to ultra just so that they look realistic. Alright, well this is interesting. So here's a beach. Um, it looks like a beach kind of community. Um, you know, there are no people in the game. You see aircraft, the only people you ever see are just the ground crew at airports. There's another truck hitting a dead end and instantly turning around. Oh, and then it disappeared. Okay. Yeah, it's very strange watching the automobile sometimes. Just going back and forth. Uh, boy, the detail on these houses is actually kind of interesting. I've got it set to high. I don't remember the exact settings right now, but uh, high or ultra on all the detail. And that is just a tremendous amount of detail. Oh, you can actually go inside. Well, of course, the drone is just a camera. There's nothing inside these uh, houses, I'm sure. Look at this car just going back and forth. Uh, I'm trying to get to a good view here. Okay. Boom. <laughs> All right, well, let's see, what else? Yeah, the detail's kind of amazing. I don't know how, you know, realistic these buildings are compared to what's actually there. I think this is all just faked. But it looks pretty realistic, the air conditioning units and everything on the building. I guess two, two different kind, or one's uh, just ventilation. But yeah, no people out. It'd be nice to s actually see some people walking around. Yeah, so when you see the cars from a distance, they s feel realistic if you're not paying attention to them. It's just when you look closely that you notice that they do weird, strange things. Of course, that one's normal. That turned. Let's see if these guys all turn. Yeah, an instant... Uh, what is that? Like a 45 degree turn. It's a very fascinating area around here. Again, I don't really know how this relates to what's really here. This, those really do look like the kind of buildings you'd have at a beach area. But the grounds here look boring. So 
I think you'd have something other than just all this messy grass and whatever. Um, and then this house in the middle, which is probably some kind of a utility thing or something that it AI thought was a house. You never know. Well, the water sure seems realistic. It's nice that the drone won't go below the water line, so you can get these beautiful water views. Alright, well, let's see what else. That's an interesting thing here. Hmm. Seems like the game... I don't know, so it's putting something here at the barrier, like it knows some of the underground geometry or or something. This just looks a little different in that, that zone. Alright, let's go check on the plane again. Speed good, altitude good, heading good. Getting darker out otherwise. Take a look quickly from the inside here. Buildings just uh, magically appeared, phased in from another universe or something. That's understandable, though. I mean, it's when I'm switching back and forth, it's a whole different set of lots of amounts, lots of amounts of geometry. See how the ground is all fuzzy right now, and then it'll start loading all that stuff. Just took a sip out of my pilot's thermos. So now if I go back, it's probably going to do the same. Yeah, no buildings. Things begin emerging a little bit at a time. You see the streets, see some cars moving, and then the buildings fade in. That's very interesting. They fade in and then they changed after they fade in. Let me try this again. So I'll wait for this to fully reload. and cached some stuff, but it seemed like the bottom section of this building changed after it initially loaded. It added some more detail onto it. And the game crashed. Okay, we're back after the software crashed. You can imagine I parachuted out and landed at this little landing strip. So we'll see what it's like taking off from here. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to push the engine a little bit because we don't seem to have a lot of room. All right, and parking brake off. To reduce the okay, there we go. Stop the torque from complaining. All right, looks like we can lift off. There's no tower or anything, of course, but we'll continue on our way to Orlando. Okay, so landing gear up. Just a bit more height. Orlando approach KH387 is type B okay, craft King Air one miles north of Foxtrot Delta 74. Request flight following. KH387 Orlando approach. 
Okay, we're mostly on course. I'm going to turn autopilot on now. Also, flight level change, so we get up to 2500. So, the plane should be able to resolve all that. Seems like we got out of the bad weather, um, just that we left that all behind. So shortly I will take over from autopilot and get ready to land. controller in so it doesn't accidentally turn off and take over from autopilot and we need to begin slowing down quickly so I'm going to start that process we can afford to drop a little bit in altitude also too much. The landing pattern will be up at over 2,000 feet probably. I think the Orlando airport is supposed to be one of the handcrafted ones, so we'll see if it looks nice when we get there. Lake X, okay, that's an interesting name for a lake. We're continuing to slow down, which is good. I'm going to drop throttle a bit more. Alright, a little warning about our altitude there. It took me a long time to figure out what that chime was all about, but you'll notice the autopilot altitude target setting blinking when the chime goes off. And it happens when you're outside of you know, a certain range of that altitude, say 500 feet total range, something like that. Orlando approach KH387. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Orlando approach. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through Bravo airspace KH387. 
Unfortunately, I don't know what side the landing pattern is going to uh, show up on, and so it's hard to know where to head. I often have to kind of make a turn at the last minute to do the landing. I've tried to contact ATC myself before the co-pilot does, but it doesn't really seem to get me very far. Uh, there's no option to request landing clearance sooner. If I turn off assist on radio traffic, I could probably do it, but then I'm going to be handling all of the radio traffic, which I don't want to do. Not yet, anyway. At some point. Orlando Tower KH387 is 1-1 one, one miles southeast with Echo to land. Okay, we're going slow enough now to put the flaps down. I'm going to put them down part way. And I shouldn't need to adjust the throttle yet. Once I go down the full amount, I will have to. Okay, so it looks like the landing pattern is to our left, so let's go ahead and head over there. I think I should, I shouldn't head directly towards the airport because the pan pattern's usually on either side. Either way, I might be, uh, it might be easier to get in either I'm on target or I have an easy non-tight uh, uh, turn angle. But I think this will work. Let's see. Oh, I still need to go over there a bit more. Okay, I'll just head over there. We're still getting those. Uh, altitude chimes as we go in and out of the range of the autopilot altitude control. I'm not sure why autopilot is still showing the AP on the screen here, but it's not engaged. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe it's maybe the yaw damper is still on or something and it's suggesting that we, yeah it is, it's suggesting that we turn autopilot on probably is what that means. Alright, we're kind of getting close, it's a little hard to see, Let's, maybe if I turn towards it I'll be in good shape. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we can just head right to it, we're just kind of right here. Okay, we're dropping speed. I'm going to up the throttle. I'm going to drop the flaps down all the way. Yes, landing gear. One, two, three. Okay, right there, landing gear. And we've dropped quite a bit in speed, so let me push up on the throttle. Got it at the center point on the stick now. And I am going to hug the right side, which I found is working for me to get to the landing strip Frontier center. Flight, one, two, six, one, heavy. Turn next taxiway. Alright, we're going at good speed. I don't think it's straight in. Oh, it is straight in. Okay, well that's handy. As we drop a little faster here, we're going to pick up some speed. Getting a little bit of stuttering, I guess it's probably the all the objects on the screen or something. 
Okay, still having trouble slowing down. I'm going to drop the throttle all the way down here for a bit. Let's see if we can get the speed down. Seems like the wind is getting a little crazy here towards the ground, but that's to be expected. Okay, we're dropping a bit fast, so let's bring some throttle back in. Try to keep it below 110. Going to one two one decimal in frontier flight one two six one heavy. I'm gonna try to hug the right side again here. Keep visually centered on the landing strip. Afford to be going a little slower. I'm gonna drop throttle some more. Yeah. Again, I need to try to head over towards the right. For some reason, I gravitate over to the left, I'm trying to fight that. Spirit wings one zero four two cleared to land runway three six right. Follow the aircraft on the runway. Okay, I'm gonna drop throttle some more. We're getting really close. I don't want to be going too fast. Keep it hovering a little over, a little Clear above 100. Right, Spirit winds 500. All right, we're gonna drop it a little bit more. Just keep an eye on it, just make sure that we don't fall out of the air. Okay, we're dropping a little bit. Let's bring it up a tad. Alright, and that's warning us that we're close to the ground, I believe. Okay, I'm going to drop it all the way, and I think we can just float as long as possible. Try to hover, just hover, hover, hover. Not nose up too much. Okay, those rear wheels should drop. And the front wheel. And let's get some brakes going and some rudder action going. Okay. All right, turn next taxiway. So it's directing me past right here. Um, let's see. Should I turn early before the arrows end? I wouldn't mind just getting off the runway. Let me try that. I'm going to get an admonishment in a moment anyway for not getting off the runway. Stop and ask for contact ground on one two six decimal four. One two six decimal four for KH three eight seven. All right, there we go. And we want to request taxi to parking. Orlando ground KH three eight seven taxi to parking. Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Hotel 7 Hotel Hotel 6 Golf Hotel 4. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Hotel 7 Hotel Hotel 6 Golf Hotel 4 KH387. Typically, it seems like half my flight is spent on landing and taxiing, but that makes sense. That's all slow speed stuff. So 
So this is supposed to be a hand-built airport, I believe. Um, so maybe I'll take the drone out when we park and look around a little bit. Alright, coming up on our turn here. It does, definitely does not look like one of the generic airports. here. There's really no way around this process taking a long time. Now the airport looks really nice. So we'll go take the drone out and take a quick peek at it up close. Not sure how much farther we have to go. I don't see the parking spot, so I guess we've got a ways to go still. There's a big aircraft on the tarmac. Airbus. I wonder if that is an official, like a real flight. And it looks like the plane has the livery that I picked for that plane in the settings. It's kind of interesting. Oh, they're cautioning people about me. Of course, I'm doing the right thing. I'm not doing anything wrong. Frontier Flight 1261 Heavy Hold Position. Caution the Beechcraft King Air on the taxiway. Hope that doesn't Frontier mean I'm going too slow. Heavy, continue taxi. Okay, I think I see the parking spot now. Roger, Frontier Flight 1261 Heavy. It'd be nice if we could hear the other side of the conversation with the other aircraft. Um, I mean, they're in radio range, it should be possible. And it's simplex, it's not a full du or, you know, duplex sort of situation. Alright, perfect parking. Put the parking brake on. Alright, let's go outside for a moment with the drone. Alright, so here's the tower. 
see a ton of runways over there, and I guess um, gates and whatnot. Interesting, all the swamps around. Everything is built on swamps. There's some bus. Interesting. Alright, I don't know how much of this rest of this stuff is built out, although you can see all these shipping containers, that's interesting. I don't know if the AI would have been able to do a nice job on that or not. Alright, so then as far as the terminals, hmm, that's parking, obviously. I wonder what's up. Oh, that's more parking. Okay, just lots and lots of parking. And even more parking. Where are the terminals? Or maybe those were the terminals? Okay, right, there's the shuttle that takes you to and from those terminals from the main airport. I don't really see any airplanes taking off. You'd, th you'd think there would be some flights happening here. There's a flight of some kind. American Airlines, I guess? Livery doesn't look right. If that was the case, but I don't think it I, it wouldn't know to pick an American Airlines livery, I guess. Okay, well anyway, enough of this. I'm going to go ahead and shut the engines off. The guy's been standing there that whole time with his arms up. Just stop that beeping if I just click the oral warning, okay. Uh yes, that's right. Uh get this thing out of the way. Sometimes that seems to be hard to do. Alright, and we turn the plane off there. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.